Welcome to Triple Threat RC. Five thousand milliamp, and the first cells above four volts, four point one, four point one. So they're all charged, about ninety four percent. Hi guys, this will be the first in a series of videos we're going to do about LiPo batteries. The videos are really intended for people that are new to the hobby or those of us that have become complacent or perhaps even those of us that weren't really aware that LiPos can pose such a hazard. Today's video is just going to give you an idea about how much energy there still is in a LiPo that's ready to go to the boneyard. So this is a 5S 5000 pack that was part of a pair that Danny was using in his pattern ship. And after almost a couple of hundred cycles, these batteries just didn't have enough energy left to uh, allow Danny to fly the plane properly. So what we've done here is drive a spike through all five cells just to create a dead short situation. And you can see it didn't take long for the battery to react. Now keep in mind this is an old pack that could barely keep a plane in the air anymore. And you can see it still packs quite a punch. Today's exercise was actually a big fail because we had two of these batteries and what we wanted to do was to show you the difference in the reaction that the battery had when we spiked it. When one was at a full charge as this one was and another that would have been at storage charge. Unfortunately we screwed up a little bit uh, so what we did is we took the other LiPo that was fully charged and uh, put it on the charger to discharge it down to 3.85 volts. As soon as it uh, got there we ripped it off uh, but it turned out that we ripped it off too soon and we didn't leave it on long enough to let it stabilize at 3.85 and uh, when we tested the voltage just before we spiked it, it was actually at 3.95. So we went ahead and spiked it anyway, and the reaction was still quite violent. So we missed the opportunity to show you what um, reaction a LiPo would have if it was at storage voltage, which would be considerably less. So we're gonna have to have a do-over and bring that to you in another video. If there's a takeaway or a recommendation stemming from today's video, it would be to never store fully charged packs in your home. There's two main reasons to not store fully charged LiPos in your home. One is the risk of fire, as we've demonstrated in this video. And secondly, LiPos don't like to be stored at full at a full charge. It, uh, it will shorten their life. and. Uh, there is a storage voltage setting on your charger for a reason and we're going to suggest that you use it. Having said that, uh, there are many times when we've got an early start the next day and we charge up the night before and there is a safe way to, to temporarily store fully charged packs and we'll cover that off in another video. So I hope you found this a little bit interesting and we'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care and bye bye for now.